Scientists say they are closer to understanding why mosquitoes evolved to have a taste for our blood. Here is what you need to know. A new study may help to clarify the affinity for human blood of the Aedes aegypti, also known as the yellow fever mosquito. Yellow fever mosquitoes, which originated from sub-Saharan Africa, are an invasive species and the insects are disease carriers across the world's tropical zone. According to the study in Current Biology, mosquitoes living in their native habitat have highly varied tastes for human or animal blood. This means that as a group, yellow fever mosquitoes from rural areas do not have a strong preference for biting humans. Though city mosquitoes are more attracted to humans than animals, this tendency is only seen in very densely populated modern cities. Therefore, researchers speculate that mosquitoes evolved their taste for human blood for another reason. Cell Press reports that mosquitoes from arid places evolved to like human blood because their life cycles are more dependent on human water storage, citing co-author and Princeton University biologist Carolyn McBride. If her conclusions are true, McBride says climate warming could make mosquitoes even more willing to bite humans. This may cause a worsening in the spread of tropical diseases. Who doesn't love mosquitoes? I mean, how else will we get the character-forming experience of getting malaria, Zika, and all those delightful gifts of Mother Nature? Scientists may have found a natural cure for malaria, but it works on mosquitoes. You heard that right. Researchers in Kenya discovered a microbe that can completely prevent mosquitoes from carrying malaria. According to the study published in Nature Communications, the microbe could be used to check the spread of malaria around the world. BBC reports that malaria kills 400,000 people every year, and most of the victims are children. The research teams from the UK and Kenya found that the malaria-stopping fungal microbe called Microsporidia MB was present in 5% of the mosquitoes they sampled. The fungus grows in the genitalia and digestive system of mosquitoes, and the data suggests it is 100% effective in stopping malaria from infecting mosquitoes. Speaking to the BBC, the authors say they do not as yet know how the fungus stops malaria. The paper's lead author, Jeremy Heron, says at least 40% of mosquitoes in a region need to be infected with the fungus to curb malaria transmission. While other strategies to defeat malaria have been proposed, such as using genetically engineered fungi to exterminate mosquitoes, the researchers say utilizing microsporidia would not endanger species that eat mosquitoes. Researchers from Yale University have found that an experiment to release transgenic mosquitoes in Brazil as a way to reduce the mosquito population has backfired. According to a Yale University news release, millions of genetically modified male Aedes aegypti mosquitoes were released over more than two years in Jagobina, Brazil. The mosquito strain carried a dominant lethal gene that was meant to render them unable to produce viable offspring with wild female mosquitoes. According to the Yale News release, the experiment was aimed at lowering the local mosquito population to reduce the public's risk of contracting diseases such as Zika, Dengue, and Yellow Fever. In a study published in Scientific Reports, gene samples of both the transgenic and wild mosquitoes were analyzed before and after the release of the modified males. Researchers found that some of the wild species retained genes from the transgenic strain, despite initial claims that the genes would not enter the general population as any offspring was expected to die. According to the news release, the mosquito population initially declined after the transgenic mosquitoes were released into the wild, but increased again after about 18 months. Researchers say the local population is now likely more resilient since the population has mixed with strains from Cuba and Mexico that were crossed together to create genetically modified males. Senior author of the study, Jeffrey Powell, hypothesized that population may have bounced back after local female mosquitoes learned and started avoiding mating with the modified males. Powell said in the news release that the mixed mosquitoes pose no known health risks. Health officials in Orange County, Florida have issued a public advisory warning residents of an increase of mosquitoes carrying the Eastern Equine Encephalitis virus. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the virus is spread from avian hosts such as chickens to mosquitoes. The mosquitoes carry the virus and transmit it to humans. Florida officials had found that sentinel chickens in the county tested positive for the disease. Symptoms include sudden headache, high fever, chills, vomiting, and swelling of the brain. After contracting the virus, symptoms take around 4 to 10 days to develop.
The CDC's website states that there is currently no human vaccine available against the disease. Florida's health officials advise the public to drain standing water to prevent mosquitoes from multiplying. Officials also advise the public to wear long sleeve clothing, apply mosquito repellent, and close the windows to prevent mosquito bites. According to the CDC, an average of seven human cases of the deadly virus are reported in the U.S. every year. Most of the cases reported have been from Florida, Massachusetts, New York, and North Carolina. According to Scientific American, mosquitoes are one of the deadliest animals in the world to humans. The diseases they transmit kill hundreds of thousands of people each year. Here's how they transmit viruses and disease to people. Female mosquitoes only bite people when they require blood to feed their eggs. They use six needle-like parts that scientists refer to as stylets to suck blood. The maxillae on mosquitoes are equipped with saw-like teeth to cut through skin. The mandibles hold tissue apart while the labrum digs underneath the skin in search of blood to extract. The hypopharynx injects saliva into blood vessels and delivers chemicals to keep the blood flowing. Mosquito saliva makes blood vessels dilate, blocks an immune response, and lubricates the proboscis. This results in itchy welts and can also transfer dangerous viruses such as Zika and the West Nile virus. Texas, Colorado, Utah, Ohio, and Indiana have all been experiencing outbreaks of the West Nile virus. Meanwhile, the number of mosquitoes carrying the virus seem to be growing as well. About 1 in 150 people who are infected with the West Nile virus develop severe illness that affects the central nervous system. Of these people, about 1 in 10 die. So how do we combat this problem? Some solutions are to stay away from standing water sources, use mosquito larvicide, and to treat your yards with mosquito spray, or just to live your life in a bubble suit. At this point, people should just be eating straight plastic and cut out all the middlemen. According to new research, microplastics could be entering the food chain through mosquitoes, threatening birds and other creatures that consume the flying insects. Scientists fed microplastics to mosquito larvae and discovered the plastics remained inside the insects after they became adults. The study was published in the journal Biology Letters on Wednesday. Researchers from the University of Reading used Culex pipiens mosquitoes because of their prevalence around many global habitats. The team found the larvae consumed fluorescent microplastic particles that were 0.002 centimeters in size. According to The Guardian, as the larvae matured into the pupa stage and then into adult mosquitoes, many of the particles were transferred as well. This means that creatures that eat the mosquitoes, such as birds, bats, and spiders, are also ingesting the plastics. The lead author of the study, Amanda Callahan, a biological scientist at Reading, told the AFP, although the research was carried out in a lab, it was highly possible this process was also occurring in the wild. Well, that's a relief. Health experts plan to release mosquitoes infected with bacteria in parts of South America next year in an effort to stop Zika transmission. Wolbachia is a natural bacterium found in up to 60% of insects. However, it is not usually found in the Aedes aegypti mosquito, the main culprit for transmitting the Zika virus. To infect the mosquitoes with the bacteria, scientists had to inject it into mosquito embryos. They succeeded after numerous failed attempts. The bacteria is spread from female mosquitoes to their offspring, even if the female mates with an uninfected male. However, if an infected male mosquito mates with an uninfected female mosquito, their eggs won't hatch. The bacteria can stop viruses such as Zika from growing inside the mosquito, thus stopping them from being transmitted to humans. The Eliminate Dengue program, which developed the Wolbachia method, will be handling the deployment in South America. The group will continue to study the impact of Wolbachia mosquitoes on transmission of Zika, dengue, and chichengunya in large urban settings. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.